Welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel, I'm Roy and I do a lot of projects in 3D printing, building 3D printers, upgrading 3D printing in general. Subscribe to follow exciting upcoming projects. This episode is going to be about new parts for the Wii Baby and I have been working on a new tool head. It's been quite a lot of work to make it perfect. I will release this tool head in the next few days. I will make a video for that. On the side, I've been working on a gear for the Z-axis. So, so today I will talk about that. And I also want you to comment if you think we should make this a stock solution and replace the current worm gear. Let's go to Fusion 360 first and then I will show you a little bit from the test machine currently running this gear system and also pros and cons about this gear versus the worm gear so here we have the v baby this is the 250 it comes in three sizes 200 250 and 300 but of course you can build this in any size i would not recommend going above 350 there are kits for this machine link down below today we are going to look at the tan parts so here's the base frame and we have the gear for the C-axis. This is the new gear. And here you can see the old gear or the current gear. This part is new. It's actually the same part. The only difference is that it's a little bit longer. Here you can see the new gear system and we can see the pulley is right under the idler. This is a 60 tooth GT2 pulley. This is a standard 20 tooth GT2 pulley. And then we have another pulley here and it fits the 10 millimeter GT2 belt, which is also new. So this is what I'm testing now, and I will show you more about that. So here's the current solution, and here's the new solution. So you have to print two parts, this one and that one, and replace them. I recommend adding the bracket first before you put the pulleys in. There's also a tensioning system here. So you just move the motor to tension the belt. For this system, you will need a 50 millimeter bolt or some kind of axle. Let's now have a look at the price difference. What we need in terms of parts and components. To the right, we have the worm gear. In total, including shipping, this uh, worm gear comes out at $43. So let's have a look at the belted gear. <clears throat> we need the pulleys at uh, $8. 50 us and you can choose a nine or a six millimeter belt for this gear i think six is enough i also elected to choose five millimeter bore for both pulleys in addition to these two gears we might need a stepper you might have a stepper you can use any nema 17 you want 850 for the pulleys and the belt for the stepper 921 and then shipping 10 us so 19 dollars for this uh, stepper price difference if you have a look at the prices 43.50 for the worm gear the belted gear is 850 and if we add a stepper we have a price at 27.50 that's a 16 us dollar decrease in price so that's nice but there are more pros and cons i've talked about that in a video i made from the test machine so let's go to that one i have been running the belted gear now for a while and i do like it a lot bed dropping is no problem i need to use quite a lot of force to make it drop what is uh, very nice is that i'm able to actually move the bed without doing it on the controller because with the worm gear there's no way to move the bed without turning the motor it's very smooth and there is no backlash This is also cheaper, a cheaper solution versus the worm gear. The only downside with this, we are not able to resume printing when uh, power has gone. Because we don't know if the stepper for the C drive will be uh, in the same position. It might have been that it moved a little bit. And that could be solved as well. Because there are steppers with brakes. So you can change the stepper to a stepper with electronic brake. The electronic brake, it will lock the motor when power is off. Personally, I like this gear better than the worm gear. I think it's smoother. I very much like the option to be able to move the bed by hand. 
and also the simplicity. So no gears are in contact. It also means less maintenance. No need to grease anything. And we don't have to replace any expensive parts if the gearbox fails. So these pulleys are very cheap and these parts are also very easily sourced. There's a lot of good reasons. There are more pros than cons for the GT2 gear. This gear is 3 to 1, but we have a double resolution belt system, which gives us 6 to 1 in gearing. The accuracy of this, I think it's better in the C direction than the worm gear. On this, we can just calculate. We get 480 steps per millimeter. What's better with this is accuracy, price, simplicity, less maintenance, easy to source, and we can move the C-axis by hand. But that also is a con if you want to resume printing. What do you guys think? Should we implement this gear also on the weekend? Should we implement this as uh, an option or should this be the stock solution for the wee baby? Let me know in the comments below. I will link to the parts. I will put the files on GitHub. You can test it. Let's uh, discuss whether or not to make this the stock solution and then we can have the worm gear as an option. This thing also up for release. Subscribe for news on that one. Toolhead also running on MGN 12. I forgot some hardware we also need for the new gear. Maybe you already have some of these uh, bearings. This is the RS625. Here we can also see the current uh, gear solution. So two brackets and this is the new system. If we take a look at pros and cons here, I guess there are more requirements we could look at. Please leave a comment down below if you have more to consider. This is from my experience. In this matrix, green is good, orange is in between and red is not so good. The solution with most green is the belted gear. Some of those are from my experience and some are taken from facts. We save 16 US dollar with the belted gear. That's included as stepper. The belted gears, you can easily buy those. The worm gear is not so easy to get hold of. In terms of maintenance, I have not done any maintenance on my worm gear. It might be needed someday. On the belted gear, there are no maintenance. Also precision, the worm gear is quite good, I think. So with the belted gear, we get exactly 3 to 1 or 6 to 1 on the machine with the double belt loop. And the worm gear is a kind of a trial and error, actually calibrating the steps. Also backlash on the worm gear might be a little bit higher than the belted gear. Resume option, that's not an option on the belted gear, then you would need to add the electronic brake. Smoothness in general, uh, the belted gear is very nice and for the worm gear I would say uh, okay. You cannot move the bed by hand with the worm gear. So that's it guys, uh, this gear or that gear, this or that. If we choose the belted gear, should we implement that on the other machines as well, like the Weeking? Let me know guys. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you will enjoy the upcoming spring. Subscribe for more 3D printer content and I'll see you guys soon.